Welcome to this advanced applications training on how to use Siemens S family with touch control for contrast enhanced ultrasound. This presentation will describe all functions of the touch screen, control panel, and system configuration required for contrast imaging. Before describing the contrast features in depth, it is necessary to identify all the components and overall layout of the user interface. To turn on the contrast software application, the key is located on the control panel in the advanced applications area on the left side of the panel. Once activated the contrast key will illuminate blue. The contrast tab populates the touch screen adjacent to the 2D tab, which remains on screen and accessible while in contrast mode. There are two pages of contrast controls available on the touch screen, page 2 is accessed by the next page key on the right side of the screen. Page 1 of the contrast tab contains the functions most often used during a contrast exam as well as general scanning adjustments such as gain, frequency and power output. All contrast imaging modes, viewing modes, and live dual, are located centrally on page 1 of the touch screen. Soft keys at the bottom of the screen contain functions used to disrupt bubble integrity or control freeze behavior of the image during the imaging process. Timer features and clip capture length are controlled or altered from drop-down menus contained on this page as well. Page 2 contains features that are used less frequently or already preset in the selected exam, biopsy, dynamic range, or frame rate control. To return to page 1 the user selects the previous page icon. Next we will describe all the functions of the touch screen and control panel in depth and how they relate to contrast imaging. When beginning a contrast exam, the first parameter that must be decided is the type of contrast imaging technique that will be used. In general, there are two contrast technique choices each with different imaging benefits. Contrast pulse sequencing. CPS, is a low mechanical index, ME, continuous real-time, non-linear imaging detection technique that provides contrast to tissue specificity. CPS is a fundamental imaging technique. Contrast harmonic imaging, CHI, is a low mechanical index harmonic imaging technique that improves contrast image resolution and frame rate compared to fundamental imaging techniques. When deciding on an imaging technique for a contrast exam, the user must take into consideration the type of imaging being performed and what parameters may adversely affect the imaging. For example, if the region of interest is deep in the liver, the user may consider using the CPS technique over the CHI technique, as the CPS has higher penetration and higher motion flash suppression when compared to CHI. If the region of interest is small and superficial, the user may consider using CHI over CPS, as CHI has higher resolution and lower bubble destruction throughout the duration of the exam. The user interface allows quick change from one imaging mode to the other as needed during the exam with no image or scanning interruption. There is an additional contrast imaging technique only available on the 4C1 transducer. Agent detection imaging, or ADA will only be available for selection when the 4C1 transducer is connected to the system. ADA is a high mechanical index often abbreviated MI imaging technique that uses the emission properties of contrast agents to characterize their presence or absence in the tissue. 
ADA has been used in the past for parenchymal and late phase radiology imaging applications and to detect early phase vascular structure or lesions, however, the contrast agent that it was designed for is not currently available on the market. This matrix describes which transducers are contrast enabled along with the associated imaging techniques and exam types. CPS is available on all contrast enabled transducers, whereas the CHI is more selective in the exams that is available on. It is important to remember these parameters when selecting a transducer and exam type to ensure the imaging technique is available for use. For example, if a contrast exam is being performed on a superficial region of interest the user will want to choose a transducer, exam preset, and imaging technique that best fits the parameters of the exam. If a 9L4 transducer and CHI imaging technique are the required settings then the available exam types are thyroid and peripheral vascular. CHI will not be available with the 9L4 transducer if a different preset is used. This exam matrix is available in the system user manual. Once the imaging mode has been decided the next parameter to select is how the user will view the image on the screen. There are three types of display modes available in the contrast settings. CA, which is contrast only, is the most commonly used display mode. Mix is a combination image display mode with a 2D overlay of the tissue signal over the black contrast only image. Mix mode is commonly used to visualize feeder vessels or abnormal flow patterns in regions of interest. The third display mode is 2D, which is only the 2D image. The default setting on the system is set to CA and is not customizable. Example of CA mode versus mix mode. CA mode demonstrates only the contrast image. Mix mode demonstrates the contrast image with a tissue overlay. The default setting on the system is set to CA and is not customizable. Screen display layout is independent of the contrast display mode and is either single or dual screen. The default screen layout is single screen. Single screen display is excellent for large lesions. Live dual is an available option and is often used with smaller or poorly visualized lesions. There are two options for activating dual screen. Option 1 is from the touch screen. Select Live Dual to split the screen and simultaneously display the contrast image on the left side of the screen and the 2D image on the right side of the screen. The second option to activate a dual screen is located on the right side of the control panel. Select the dual key to activate the live dual display on screen. Layout of the contrast image versus the 2D image are in a fixed position, no reversal. Example of live dual layout, note the position of the contrast image on the left and 2D on the right. Position of the contrast and 2D images are not customizable. Live dual is very important when imaging small or poorly visualized lesions. The timer control key is located on both the 2D and contrast tabs. To activate select start timer. The display will change to stop timer and reset timer key will illuminate beside it. To stop the timer, 
select stop timer. The time clock will remain on the image screen and display the stop time. Selecting reset timer will set the timer back to zero and automatically start the active time clock count again. Use the reset timer for continuous flow state contrast exams to time, view contrast reperfusion in a region of interest. Note that if EC fusion is activated the timer can only be activated from the fusion tab.